Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Saturday, November 7th, 2020. I'm Pastor Albert from St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Springfield, Virginia. It's good to have you with us. Our bulletin for today's service is on our website at stmarks-elca.org, stmarks-elca.org. Let us begin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. We continue in the Thanksgiving for Light. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day, in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom, and lighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet, and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We will continue with our readings as we continue in Amos, with the fourth chapter, beginning at the sixth verse. I gave you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and lack of bread in all your places. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. And I also withheld the rain from you, where there were still three months to the harvest. I would send rain on one city and send no rain on another city. One field would be rained upon, and the field on which it had did not rain withered. So two or three towns wandered to one town, to drink water, and were not satisfied. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. I struck you with blight and mildew. I laid waste your gardens and your vineyards. The locust devoured your fig trees and your olive trees. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. I sent among you a pestilence after the manner of Egypt. I killed your young men with the sword. I carried away your horses, and I made the stench of your camp go up into your nostrils. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. I overthrew some of you, as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a brand snatched from the fire. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. Therefore, thus I will do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. For lo, the one who forms the mountains, creates the wind, reveals his thoughts to mortals, makes the morning darkness, and treads on the heights of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. Our reading from the Psalms is Psalm 70. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, Aha! Aha! turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great, but I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. And our gospel reading tonight is from Matthew, the 24th chapter, beginning at the first verse. As Jesus came out of the temple and was going away, his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. Then he asked them, You see all these, do you not? Truly I tell you, not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, 
Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, Beware that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this is but the beginning of the birth pangs. Then they will hand you over to be tortured, and will put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. Then many will fall away, and they will betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the earth as a testimony to all the nations. And then the end will come. This ends our readings. The theme in Amos, repeated over and over again in our reading today, is that God had given many warnings to the people of ancient Israel to return to God. We remember the the words, Return to the Lord, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. And in our reading today, we are reminded how the people of ancient Israel continued to walk in their lawlessness, their unrighteousness, their unjust behavior, which we will read of tomorrow. And so God basically says, have it your own way. Or as we might say, you've made your bed, lay in it. And the people suffer. And they suffer greatly. And God continually says, why did you not turn back to me? This is a common theme in our scriptures. It's a common theme in our lives. God is calling us always to to turn away from those behaviors that are not loving of one another, that do not love God with all our heart, mind, and soul. When we live lives that are apart from love, we we bear the consequences. And those consequences are, are broken relationships. And broken relationships hurt. And not just emotionally, they they hurt practically too. For the world would be such a better place if we, if we all would love one another as we want to be loved. No one would go hungry, for everyone would share. There would not be an income disparity, for all would share freely of their, of their abundance. No one would hoard and, and store away for, for enough generations to last for a millennia. Rather, they would give to those who are less fortunate. None would remain sick. I mean, of course, people would be sick, but everyone would would have health care and everyone would have an opportunity. Not because it's an an innate human right, but rather because we would freely share out of love and concern for one another. If the world were perfect, if everyone would only share the love that is within them, that that made in the image of God, we would experience the the reign of God in all all its fullness. But we are broken. And so we pray that God would help us to love as, as God loves us and to give freely as God has so freely given to us in Jesus' name. Let us return to the Lord our God. Let us turn to God with all our heart, mind, and soul. God is rich in mercy and abundant blessings await us. For God is desiring always to to share and to to bless us abundantly through Christ. Let us pray. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. This past week we were greatly reminded of that as as election day was Tuesday, and today is Saturday, and only today was the election called for president in this country. 
and even now there are, are those who, who protest the, the outcome of the election. We do not know where our paths go. Today, as, as we speak, over 100,000 new cases in coronavirus took our country yesterday, and we have no idea where, where that is going. Is the future in the virus grim, or is there a vaccine soon to be on its way that will bring some healing? Oh God, we do not know where these ventures are leading us. These paths are yet untrodden, and the perils are certainly unknown. But we pray this night, O oh God, that you would give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love is supporting us. You walk alongside of us wherever we go. You are with us through the valley of the shadow of death. You are with us in the valley of deep darkness. Your light is shining. And you tell us that no matter what happens to us in this life, we are loved by you and you are yours. And there is nothing that can separate us from your love in Christ, not even death itself. So there is nothing to fear, and we cling to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, knowing that we never pray as we ought, uh, we, but, and uh, so we pray as we are able, the words that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We wish you a blessed night and look forward to seeing you in the morning for Sunday worship. Our service is at 9.45, the English service, with pre-service music beginning at 9.30 on our YouTube channel and streamed on Facebook. Spanish service is at 12 noon and will be posted on Facebook and on YouTube. God be with you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Good night.